and I suppose what we want to say is that people can uh, come to the HSC and we can provide them with information to take the message of Healthy Ireland out into their own organisation. So yeah, it's a great day. If we can get wellness and health in every part of our life, if it's involved in our work and our school and, in, and it's part of our life at home, it's not going to feel like a struggle you know, to look after our health. I'm impressed by the division of Healthy Ireland, where everyone can enjoy physical and mental health and well-being to their full potential, where well-being is valued and supported at every level of society and is everyone's responsibility. And to recognising that creating a healthy Ireland is not just the responsibility of the Department of Health or any one or two ministers, but the responsibility of all of government and indeed of all of society. Great success, an absolute great success. It's great to have this forum to promote the project and to share the initiative and tell everybody about how it's going so far, but we're getting great responses from people. It's brilliant. We also met some sporting organisations, for example, the Boxing Association was here today, and I hadn't realised that, but for example, they have a huge membership over the age of 60, and that's our target for the violence screen in particular, so you know we make contact with them afterwards, and that's not something we would have thought of ourselves, so it's been a very valuable day for us to be here. And it's one thing that I've discovered in the wonderful engagements I've had with people over the last year, whether it's within government departments, whether it's in uh, NGO sector, wherever I've met people, I, it's fabulous to see the passion that they have for health promotion and the area of interest that they have. And that really and truly convinces me that we're on the right track. We're from St. Audience at Angelo School and, and we, we are, are going, going to, to try, try and eat healthier. <laughs>